when you went, you, the production lineup is, is dope. How did you decide who was gonna make the cut and who did you go to for beats and how long have you been putting, get, gathering beats for the album? The process, funny enough, is I feel like it started real slow. Yeah. You know, I don't yeah. think, I think everybody was kind of doing what they were doing, you know, um, production wise, working on projects or just, you know, being creative and making records and we really had to go in with some direction. Like, we want hard shit. Like, don't give us what you think we want or what you right. think you know, we, we, we're gonna do, because this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we want beats and rhymes, you know? And I think after the first few weeks, maybe a month or some change into it, we finally started to kind of bring in the sound that we wanted. So, you know, and, and when we say that feeling just of the, of, the, of the beats, you know, just the drums and just dope samples and just, you know, the way it was stacked up, you know, we didn't just go to New York guys or, or pioneers or you know we went to people we knew could deliver the bang so right. you know Ant-Man could deliver the joint because we wanted to be feeling like drums and chopped up samples or you know we went to to the west coast to oh no you know what I'm saying like it didn't have to be somebody who grew up in the Bronx to deliver the sound we was looking for um, right. you so know the funny thing yeah thinking about it I don't know how many of the producers on the project are from New York I think the only ones who might be the closest from New York is Ilmine being from Jersey and um, obviously Cream is Texas, but he's been in Brooklyn for 20, 30 years now. But, I mean, Oh No is from LA, Black Milk is from Detroit, Ant-Man and Jalil is from Philly. You know, I'm, I'm trying to think off the muscle. Cyrus is from Boston. Crisis is North Carolina. Uh, kid Mark Infinite is from DC. That's a testament to New York producers at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Um, no shots, though. No shots. Wow, shots. <laughs> come with it, man. Come come with it for the city. Nah, so, you know, we, we wanted it to sound like that. I'm big on if I talk to a producer and he's having a hard time nailing what I want it to sound like, I'll give him examples of records that's out. So I started telling people, yo, Nas, Thief's Thing. Nas, Made You Look. Like, I started telling people those beats. I was like, yo, those two beats in particular, keep that in mind when you whip this stuff up. And it was like, oh, okay, I got you. Boom. You know, with, with the Jalil yeah, joint, direction. yeah, with, with the Jalil joint, I literally just called him and was like, "Yo, I need something." I think, matter of fact, he had the Young Chris joint out. I forgot the name of it, but it's a Young Chris record he got out. And I was like, "Yo, that shit you just did, for Chris is stupid." And he said, "Oh, you want one of those?" I was like, "Yeah, please." He's like, "Alright, give me till the end of the night. I got you." And then the next morning, I woke up and there was an email, and I was like, "Oh, there it is. One shot. There it is." You know what I mean? But Jalil always do that though. He he know what he doing times ten. So I don't worry when it comes to that guy. Up the pot cooking, leaving the block shooking. I'm the reason all the bad broads and the cops looking. You got to drop jokes, chorus and not hook them. Take it.